Well, I've been a chef for, I guess, nearly 20 years now. After my training up north, I moved down to London in 2000, 2001 and started working for Gordon. So, started work at Royal Oswald Road, then went on to Claridge's and then at Mays. 2010, I left, had two years out, private chef, looking for my own place. And then here we are, 2012 and three years later, at the Plough Inn in Long Parish, where I'm the chef and owner and general dog's body. Yeah. <laughs> I've done my fair share of kitchen portering in the last three years at the pub. I mean, obviously, we didn't budget for a full-time one when we started. And eventually, we've managed to pin down the right couple of guys we've got in the kitchen now who are amazing. And I think, do you know what? It is a hard job. It's hard graft. And, and actually, just someone who's willing to work and put the effort in is the perfect candidate. Our guy does pretty much a lot of the veg prep for us. He obviously keeps the kitchen tidy, keeps the kitchen clean. He'll go through and do the fridge temperatures for us. He'll make sure the, the veg and food is packed away in the fridges correctly and stock rotated. And he works a lot alongside the chefs doing it. But I mean, he kind of assists with anything the guys need in the kitchen. If you need a lift with something, you need a hand with something, actually, do you know what? He'll do it for you. I've had a lot of them and they're horrific. And do you know what, not only on yourself or the team, but actually over a large period of time, we were three months last year without one. It's not necessarily the graft and the day and the work that happens, it's actually the knock-on effect of the morale of the whole team. Because do you know what, it is a tough job and there's a lot to do and when you've got to do that on top of everything else and get your hands dirty and stand there sweating in a steaming hot kitchen, then actually it doesn't do any favour. I like the idea of, of, of that progression. I think, do you know what, there's, there's a huge amount of chefs in this industry that have all started washing pans at some point. I know Richard Davies did, I know I did. I know people who started at 14, 15, 16 years old in their local pub or local restaurant and just started scrubbing pans. And for me, it was the atmosphere of the kitchen that made me want to become a chef. I think for me, if my kitchen portal wanted to do that and step up to that club, and then I'd do everything I could to do that. London is so diverse, and I think, I think that the amazing thing about living in London was the fact that you can go out and eat whatever you want, whenever you want. For me, I, I, I prefer sitting in a more relaxed environment, not worry about the whole prim and proper experience of super fine dining, although I thoroughly enjoy eating fine dining restaurants. I think actually for me, just relaxing and having a good time, wherever it may be, good food and good beer or good wine, and, and just chilling out with friends.